to uh, serve it in. But I want everyone to fill this bowl. This is a um, collapsible serving bowl. It has a pooling insert on the inside of it so you can take it to picnics and um, and have a cool fruit or salad or something. You took it out. Neil tried to alter it. The strawberry. The strawberry. Is the same. Now, is that just an apple thing? This is a veggie wedger. You can use it for veggie anything. Wedge. Yeah. You can use it for anything that doesn't have a core. And today I'm using it for uh, oranges. So if you want to get perfect pieces of anything, then you just use it. And it's really fast. Pamper Chef is all, is all about making everything that you do in the kitchen faster and easier and more efficient. So we can get on and do all the things that we want to do. So I've done four oranges. And now I'm going to do some apples. And we have, everybody's familiar with an apple core. But ours will not rust. It has, usually it has uh, more uh, blades than a, uh, the other apple cores, so you get smaller pieces, easier to eat. Veggie veggies. Yeah. <laughs> so, get this other apple. Jeremy could be your assistant. Yeah, well, I had a show at Jeremy's house a couple of weeks ago. So he's seasoned, he's ready to go. Yeah. I do have the hair. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do the uh, Greek yogurt. And the reason I chose Greek yogurt is because it's really, really good for you. It's got a lot of protein in it, uh, unlike a regular yogurt. And the re I do this at home. I uh, make my own breakfast, and um, I do two or three cartons at a time, and I uh, just put it in the refrigerator and I get it out when I want to. What are you right, using now? Right now I'm using the core and more. Core and more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a rolling list. Yeah, a rolling list, okay. Um, this is a really great tool for uh, taking the tops off of strawberries. That way you don't waste a lot of meat of the strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> I can literally uh, pour and slice three quarts of strawberries in under five minutes. There's your first cookie. Right. Okay. And I use I didn't use this today, but this is uh, the little berry strainer. You can um, put your berries in here. You can measure. It's an easy read. You can also put like a can of tuna and drain a can of tuna or corn on the bottom. It's really versatile. Hmm. This is the egg slicer. The egg slicer is for more than eggs. I'm going to use it for the strawberries today. And we love the egg slicer in our house. Yeah. Like oh, tuna yeah. when you're popping your eggs. Mm -hmm. And there we go. So you can really tear through some strawberries or bananas. Mm. <laughs> Does it work for cheese? I'm all about cheese. Well, this is not really for hard cheese. It won't work very well for that. Come on, Jeremy. Ask do you have a product for hard cheese? <laughs> I do. I have, there you go. <laughs> there is the question. I have a, a cheese knife. And I'm using uh, the flexible cutting board. I love these things because they're flexible. And... When you do your fruit and vegetables, you can do them on one, and then when you go to do your beef or chicken or whatever, you can do it on another one, and that way you have a clean surface, and you don't have to worry about cross-contamination. So I got the strawberries in here, and I brought some frozen blueberries. I used the Twixit clip to keep them closed. I love those. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah, They're wonderful. Now I'm going to add the yogurt. Where did you get the yogurt? I got the yogurt <laughs> at H-E-B. Uh, H-E-B. Mm -hmm. And you can spend anywhere from $3.50 to $8 on a uh, quart of yogurt. 
I chose the 350. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me? Where we had grants over more. 350. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have our uh, our scrapers, our spatulas? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful. This one is good, but this is my favorite one. I think I brought it up <laughs> here. This is the master scraper. It's great for spanking <laughs> but it also my son hates the scraper because when you use it um, you get everything out of the bowl you don't waste it uh, I'm going to use some agave to a sweetness gee I thought it was bourbon yeah <laughs> it really is a, in a, a agave bottle these are some little uh, herb snips, and you can use them for just about anything. You can cut the top off of a bag so you don't have to struggle with it. It also has uh, where you can strip rosemary and things like that. Mm -hmm. cool. I knew a stripper named Rosemary one time. Sounds <laughs> 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 like something like Ralph. <laughs> Now I've got to remember this to be a video recording. Yeah. <laughs> that she person will you. remain nameless. <laughs> uh, this is the measure, mix, and pour, and I love this tool. This is really great to use. You can put pe peanut butter or sour cream here in the top, and you just push it out. And that way you get everything off. You scrape the top with a scraper. And measure, mix, and pour. And you can also put liquids on this side, and you just measure it. And you have about 20 different types of ways to measure stuff. So that's really cool. So I'm going to add a little bit of a flax and hemp granola. Okay, and hemp, if you guys don't know, is a great source of your omegas. And so and it doesn't have any of the stuff in it that makes it bad. It's just a, a grain. <laughs> I'm going to add that to it. Then I'm using the stainless steel bowl. It has a hole here to hold it. It has a non-skid bottom. So you can just really, without slipping all over, this looks really good. And you all are going to get to have some today. All right, I'll tell you my guys is, yeah, will you mind uh, scooping it out for me while I talk? Don't mind, I'll taste it. I'm going to let the spoon, too. Okay, it's not very sweet. I'm going to put a little bit more agave in it. Has anybody ever had Greek yogurt before? For those of you that haven't, it has kind of a different... It has a different texture in your mouth. It's not like uh, regular yogurt. Okay, that's good. And we're going to use a scoop to um, scoop it out and pass it down. Okay, I'm going to tell you all my story. I started selling Pampered Chef about 18 months ago. I did it as my plan B. At the time, I was a customer service manager at a company called BNSS. Love my job. I've been customer service manager for about 20 years in different types of industries. I was working in manufacturing. They manufacture uh, bath cabinets. I started working there about the time that the bottom fell out of the economy, the housing market went down, and I survived five or six different layoffs. I had a show at work we did a chowder in the office during lunch, and I earned about $90 worth of free product. The girl that did the show, she said, you would make a great consultant. And so I just kind of, you know, brushed her off. But I thought about it, and I used part of my free money to become a consultant, and it was my plan B. Because I had been through six or seven layoffs. I started when the company had 300 people, and by the time, at that time, there was only 120. I was laid off in January. 
So now my plan B has become my plan A, and this is what I do for a living, and I love it. I do between 10 and 15 shows a month. I work between three and four hours per show if you include all the computer work. But I'm looking for people who would like to join my team. And everybody, or most of you all might know, people who are off for the summer, school teachers, uh, newly graduated college students who need to earn anywhere from 100 to whatever it is that they want to earn. And you can do that with the Pampered Chef, with two shows, 150 and $500 a month. Two shows. And two shows, Pampered Chef uh, compensates you. you really well. So these are all the reasons <laughs> that it's great to be a consultant. You can be your own boss. This is my business. I'm my own boss. I work when I want to. I take Thursdays off. That's my day to do my housework. Not what I want to do, but it's what I have to do. <laughs> you earn the money that you need. When I started selling Pampered Chef, I was earning money to have extra money. Now I'm earning a living. You earn free products. The thing about the Pampered Chef, once you sign up and be a consultant, you don't have to keep reinvesting into your business like you would with some other sales companies. The Pampered Chef incents you with two shows a month, you will get whatever the new products are for the next sales month. You earn free vacations. I hope to go to Nashville uh, this summer. You learn fabulous recipes. You feel supported. I'm on a team of, of great ladies and I can call them whenever I need help. And I'm recognized for my efforts publicly. I make a lot of new friends. I'm proud of my business. This is my business. And so I am very proud of what I have built up. So I love what I do. And if you know somebody that might like this too and love it, then I would like to uh, talk to them. So how much time do I have, Neil? You have, you're at 13 minutes. Okay. So you have two minutes and 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> well, I'm basically, I'm done. I can come into somebody's home and then prepare an entree, an appetizer, or a dessert in 30 to 45 minutes. I'm out of the home in about two hours once, because everybody wants to socialize and that type of thing. So I try to show people how to prepare easy, quick, healthy meals in about 30 minutes for about $3 a serving. So does anybody have any questions? Yes, Jeremy. So Tanya, you can, you can generate residual income from your business? Yes. I, of course, it's kind of direct sales. Once you have people underneath you, then I get percentages for their sales. Right now, I have a team of one. <laughs> <laughs> and also, some of the good referrals are, you know, people that are getting married. You know, Pampered Check is awesome. I mean, I've got most products, you know, but there's always something awesomer, you know, coming out that I add. But, you know, people getting married and need to stock up for that, for like a wedding shower. And people that um, are going off to college, you know, students mm -hmm. that need, you know, the basic, you know, the pizza cutter and, you know, stuff like that. And yeah. they last. And like with these um, collapsible bowls, serving bowls, they just fold up into one easy to store space. You can put dip in the middle and put chips around the outside, and or you can use it as a serving bowl. Ton yes. Tanya, didn't you say, she meant, the lady mentioned something about weddings. Uh, how do you do bridal showers? I, we have a bridal registry, and so if anybody is getting married, they register like they would at a brick and mortar, like Macy's and that type of thing. They choose their product. And then they send out their guest list or however they want to do it, paper invitations or by email. And then we can pair that up with a bridal uh, shower. And so the guests come, we do a really fun cooking show, the bride is really involved, and then she gets product for her uh, wedding gifts. 